Assalamu alaikum students Today we are going to solve a practical paper from May June 2020 Okay So proceeding to the question number one of the same paper and this question is related to the titration method and you know that what is titration method you have to remember the use of the burette, the pipette and the indicator. Now you are advised to carefully read all of the instructions and try to do as it is directed in the question. I will help you how to make the tables to take the readings accurately. Okay. So for this I am going to draw a table for you. You can see here, this is the table. First of all, you have to write what the final burette reading. So we are going to solve part A. And in part A, you can see you have to make the table like first of all, you have to note down the final burette reading. And to uh, save the time, I made the table priorly and then it's showing to you here you can see that the format of the table must be the same as you can see in this video so then you have to note down the initial burette reading and the volume used okay this is the difference between the final and the initial okay now this will become the rough titration or the first titration you must have to remember that the difference between the rough titration and your first valid titration must be 0.2 okay it must be lesser than 0.2 like you can see in this table in the next step as it was directed you have to repeat the same experiment and do as many titration you require to get the accurate consistent results what is mean by consistent when we have the readings with a difference of 0.1 when we have a difference between two readings that is 0.1 then we call these two readings the consistent readings okay like you can see but I advise you to please be careful while performing the experiment but the format must be look like that so it is advised to perform first time and second time carefully to find out what is your readings and then adjust all of those readings according to the format I made for you okay the final reading the initial reading must have the difference between these two consistent result of 0.1 like you can see this is 24.90 whereas this one is 24.80 so the difference is 0.1 whereas the difference between the first reading and the rough titration you can see this is the difference of 0.2 in the lower side okay so you have to make the table be careful while you are performing and while you are making the table now proceeding towards the calculations you can see the next part is related to get the average value to get the average value and you have to use your consistent two results to get the average value like how you can do that by doing this these were the two consistent results with the difference of 0.1 you have to take these two readings divide by 2 to get the 24.85 average value now to solve next part it is clearly advised to calculate the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide so as we already know and it is given in the question the concentration of the NaOH is 0.105 and it was labeled as fa2 okay so we can use the formula n equals to cv and then by putting the values we can get the value of the mole clear 
then in the next part it was advised to deduce the number of moles of the organic acid and it was priorly written in the question instructions that the acid we are using is monoprotic an acid as the acid is monoprotic means they are reacting the alkali and the acids are reacting with the one ratio one okay that is why the acid moles are the similar like that of the moles of alkali we had in the part one then again you have to use the same formula and equals to cv to get the concentration so by modifying this formula we can get c equals to n by v then again as we have the values from above the moles and also we pip it out the sodium hydroxide that is 25 okay so that is why we are taking 25 so by dividing and calculating this we have the value you can see here then in the next part it was advised that calculate the relative molecular mass for this we know that moles can be or mole is equal to the given mass divided by the molar mass like we know the formula moles equals to the given mass over the molecular mass but we clearly know the mass that is given in the instructions of the question that is 6.02 gram okay so we have to take that value from the question paper and then in the prior or in the previous part we calculated the moles so by replacing these values we get the mr that is 59.6 that equals to or approximately equals to 60 and you clearly know that 60 mr indicates the presence of ethanoic acid so this is the question and this is the answer for this part as well it was asked that from another experiment it is found that fa1 contains one of the following naoh react only with cooh group in the acid deduce which of these acid is present in fa1 so i'm just comparing with the mr as we have the mr that is 60 and indicating 60 mr to the ethanoic acid that is why we choose the acid used was ethanoic acid as its molecular formula is matching with the ethanoic acid okay proceeding to the next part in the next part it was asked that this method of investigation uses the relative molecular mass of acid the relative molecular mass of this acid and this one so you can clearly see if you have a little knowledge about the saturated and unsaturated compounds you can see there we have less more hydrogen in this compound and less hydrogen in this compound so it is obvious that this compound has a carbon to carbon double bond and what method we have to adopt to identify or distinguish between the acid which is saturated and the one which is not saturated okay so we are going to use bromine water test so here we have to write that add bromine water or few drops of the bromine water and its color brown color decolorizes while we are using this acid if it decolorizes then it will confirm the presence of this acid and if the color remains intact unchanged then we have to say that the acid used was this one okay you got that now proceeding to the next part that is e and in this part it was asked that a student is given a solution of another organic acid containing the same concentration in mole per dm cube as that used in a so it is very simple as we are using the acid in the burette and now the acid is more sorry acid has a more protons diprotic instead of the monoprotic so it clearly means the concentration of the hydrogen ions increases so it will use less volume okay the less volume of the acid will be used 
but we have to say that the by increasing the con uh, or by using the diprotic acid we actually increasing the concentration of the hydrogen ions so in your explanation you have to so say that the concentration of the acid increases means the moles of the acid increases and when the moles of the acid increases what it means you have to go for the calculations this was the calculation we made as the concentration increases the more sorry the increases yes the moles increases and when we have more moles so the same value when divided with the larger one then this value will be exactly the half okay so you have to write in your answer we get the mr exactly to the half the reason is that the concentration increases hence the concentration of the hydrogen ions also increases clear